Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. ISIS is heading towards the city of Hasaka following fierce clashes with the Assad regime. According to the director of the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, Rami Abdelrahman, ISIS has seized all military posts in northeastern Syria. Control of Hasaka is split between regime forces and Kurdish forces. If ISIS seizes Hasaka, it would be the second Syrian provincial capital to fall under its control after Raqqa, the group's headquarter in northern Syria. The Red Cross has come under fire as news agency ProRepublica and NPR have revealed that the $500 million in donation it collected to rebuild IT after 2011 earthquake were used to build only six houses. The report suggests that a large portion of the money was attributed for generous salaries to Red Cross employees rather than the house building program. The Red Cross project was aimed to provide homes to more than 130,000 people. Greece has told the IMF it plans to bundle its four repayments in one lump sum of $1.8 billion. In return, the IMF has allowed it to delay the payment to June 30th. This comes after Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras said he would not accept the terms of reform its international creditors had set to unlock remaining bailout funds. Greece, the IMF, European Union and European Central Bank creditors have been in negotiations for four months and if an agreement isn't reached soon, Greece risks default and an exit from the Eurozone. A number of climbers are trapped on Mount Kinabulu in Malaysia's Sabah state of Borneo Island after a 6.0 magnitude earthquake struck. The Malaysian tourism minister, Masidi Manjun, said that rescuers were still trying to reach the 137 climbers trapped on the mountaintop with weather conditions making the rescue operation difficult. Thanks for watching. Teruteworld.com, Istanbul.